Lindsay finds Gramlin. Ten to shoot. Lindsay fakes the three. Now Ramir Burton with the basketball. Pulls up from straight away. Nice shot, Ramir Burton. Nana Mabulu. Here's Gramlick. Gets by two defenders. And the floater, good. Burton. Parker guards him. He goes right by him to the rim. We'd love to see more of that. And there you have the mismatch with Parker being so much. Mabulu gets the step on Youngblood. Short, Gilbert the follow. How valuable has Ethan Gilbert been? Eight already for the junior. Thomas coming in, 42% from beyond the arc. A fortunate miss for the Hilltoppers. King for the lead. Got this one, Aubrey King. His first points in the first three for St. Edwards three today. Nothing. Six to shoot. Watkins now with the taller Martin on him. Steps back, nails the long range jumper. Sean Watkins. Hold the shoot. Dosh makes the screen for Watkins, finds Dosh, long three, yes! St. Edwards takes the lead back this season. Alex Cooper, none today, but 46 on the year. Fort Smith takes the lead back, 30 to 28. Lilly to answer, he does! Quinton Lilly, his first points in the first half. Here's Ramir Burton, seven points so far, finds Gramlick, sees Martin in front of him, and they feed Lilly down low for the layup. Beautiful ball movement there, Lindsay the assist. Here's Darius Parker, sophomore from Allen. Stojanovic, and from behind, Gilbert the block, the ball stays in bounds, and Gilbert retrieves it. Yep. It's a 3-2 look, and they're going to trap Burton, 10 to shoot. Gilbert finds Gramlich, he's open for three. How about another lead change? John Gramlich, his first three. And he Here's Gramlich. Now Lindsay, nine to shoot. Watkins tries a three. Got it, that's a big three. Sean Watkins is second of the day. Lindsay moving in on Parker. Out to Gramlick. Long three for the lead. Yes, sir! John Gramlick, his second three. Stojanovic, good defense by Gilbert. And here come the Hilltoppers. Burton spinning to the rim. Left handed Leah falls. A beautiful move. Ramir Burton. Backdoor feed. This time, Lindsay the good feed, and it finds Burton. Gilbert sets the screen for Gramlick. Now Lilly. A three for Burton. Got it. Ramir Burton, his first three. The shoot. Long three. King got that one. The Hilltoppers have come to play from beyond the arc. King second three. They're nine of 24 from long range. Dosh up top feeds Lilly. Watkins for the lead. Yes, sir. Sean Watkins. His third three. Watkins, Gilbert, Burton, Lilly, and Gramlick for St. Ed's. Lilly is doubled. And inside finds Burton. Beautifully done. St. Edwards in Fort Smith. Three timeouts left. 4-10 remaining. Both teams in the bonus. A three to tie. Quentin Lilly got it. His second three. See how the defender gives Burton so much room. They do not want him to drive inside. And Gramlick gets caught up in traffic. Finds Burton. A three for the lead. He's got it. Ramir Burton. St. Edwards on top. There's two timeouts left. Gramlick left wing. Around a Gilbert screen. Now Lilly. Eight to shoot. Watkins for three. Got it. Sean Watkins. Off the bench for the injured Frankie Mabulu has four threes. The biggest St. Edwards lead, 44 seconds. And joining me now, our player of the game, and uh, one of many, quite frankly, one. Uh, five goals out for Tonell Bacon, 11 points, nine boards. Do you realize you have five assists in the turnovers? I knew I was trying to spread the ball around. Coach really talked to me this week at practice about getting the ball inside and looking for my team. So I'm just trying to get everybody involved and help us win and get back in. Quentin Lilly, our player of the game. A win always feels good, but after what you've gone through the past few weeks, how much sweeter is a win like this over a really good Fort Smith team? Oh, you know, Coach talked to us uh, this week and uh, said we want to come out and we want to play as best we can. And we didn't do the things we needed to at the end of the game on Thursday, but I thought we really came back, had a good practice on Friday. And, uh, we came out here and competed. That's what we have to do every time we go out on the court. We have to compete because the margin is so small in this league. So we have to go out here and we have to play as hard as we can and make plays when they're there. As a senior and as a leader, how do you try to help your teammates, especially the younger ones, as you go through some of the struggles, especially the, the hard loss on Thursday to Rutgers Day? Well, I talked to the team this morning at shoot around and I told them I was going to try to be as, po as positive as possible um, throughout this game. So now I'm having a good day. So that's a good day.
Two hours ago, I told you how my day was going. So we have to make sure that we, you know, stay the course, stay positive, and stay confident and make plays. What's the ceiling for this team? Uh, the ceiling is, is, is to get to the NCAA tournament. That's our goal. We weren't able to do it last year. But that's our ultimate goal is to get there. And then once we get there, try to make something happen in the tournament. But we have to take care of the rest of our conference game. We have to take care of the rest of the regular team and then try to make something happen in the tournament. Great game by you. Great game by the team. And a great win. Congratulations. Thank you. Very much. And we're now with the head coach of St. Edward's, Andre Cook. Big fist pump by you. Yeah. It's not the first I've seen, but maybe the yeah. most adamant you've been. You and the whole team were in it. What a great win. Your thoughts? Those guys needed it. They needed it. Um, you know, I mean, everyone that's watched this play is the best we've played uh, all year. You know, uh, all uh, calendar year. You know, 16. Um, you know, Fort Smith is a terrific team. They're dealing with their own struggles and injuries as well. Uh, you know, but I just want to see us play better. You know, it's been a long time. I mean, that we've had uh, a little bitty stretches, but uh, I, I'm so proud of the guys. Uh, you know, and with Frank going down and, and, and to, to rally around Matt and him and, uh, and everything. It's a great win for us. As we talk, I don't know how much you can say about Frankie, but yeah. uh, what, what's Frankie's injury? Well, he hurt his ankle the last play of the first half, so we'll, we'll know more. You know, obviously, we have an unbelievable training staff, so uh, he, you know, uh, they did some things at halftime and they wanted to try it. Uh, and it was a great on, on the bench, and we'll get more uh, information. It's interesting because you continue a trend regardless of how the opponent shoots, and Fort Smith shot 57%. The, the trend is as long as your team shoots well, you usually win. If you go back to, uh, on the stat sheet all year, it shows that and you shot 51% when you struggled the last couple of games. So what was the change that led to that? you got to move the ball. I mean, you know, what does Pop, Greg Popper say? Move the ball or die, right? I mean, really, that, and, and that we are getting into holding it and watching it. Uh, when we move the basketball, you know, we're hard to guard. You know, we don't have great one. We have some one-on-one -on -one players that are triple. We had them play five-man basketball, moving the ball, cut, screen, slips, get the ball to the other side. I mean, today we had 16 assists. I, I, I don't know who was the last time we've even had that many. So uh, the, the guys, I mean, that's all we've been practicing. Move the ball. Well, you don't want to see Frankie Nabula get hurt. How about players stepping up with the opportunity? Sean Watkins hits the big three, late yeah. four threes in the game. You gave him a big hug at the end. Yeah, you know, he's just such a happy parents are here. You know, I'm so proud that they got to see that. He's a great kid. I mean, he is just developing more and more with Frank, kind of as a mentor, as a leader. He's really a leader of like the freshmen and sophomores. They look to him. Uh, you know, good for him. And he's played, he's just behind Frank. That's all. And he's a very good player. If you saw him at Rogers, he helped us win that game at, at, at Rogers. Uh, and, uh, you know, 14 points. Uh, it, it, just a great game, and I'm very proud. How much weight does it feel like it's been lifted from your shoulders after what's been happening the last few weeks? You know, I said to the guys before the game, you know, it has to start sometime, right? You know, we, we got to get out of this. We got to get some mojo going. Why not today? <laughs> Why wait till Thursday or Saturday or the next weekend? Why not today get a little mojo, get a little juice? We, we were, you know, I mean, you've been with us a long time now. We were in the rut last year. We got out of it, got to the finals. Right. Hopefully this is the beginning of getting out of that run. That was a lot of fun. A great yeah, win. Congrats to you and your team. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Good to see you. Andre Cook, head coach of the Hilltopper.